Da da da, lens flare, lens flare disco. a really hard time in Sweden. I'm in Stockholm. I'm struggling with something that I have never struggled with before and every day is a struggle. Oh shit, there's someone coming. I'll carry this on in a minute. <laughs> I don't want someone to think that I'm actually upset. I just don't know how long I can stay in this country for. Ugh. The thing that I'm struggling to cope with is everyone in Stockholm is just so attractive and everyone is so damn beautiful here. I'm just paralyzed by them. <laughs> just unbelievable. Just ridiculous. Please help us protect the lawn. It's extra sensitive right now. <laughs> I feel you, lawn. I feel you. I'm in, I'm in the same place as you. <laughs> we'll get through this together. Promise. Got a nutritious 7-Eleven meal of a cheese calzone chocolate brownie tray. This whole thing costs 11 pounds. Today we have got the boat, in fact, that boat there. So I've come to an island called Djurgården and this is the Bloxodden area, which I've just butchered the pronunciation of both those names probably. Rather than paying the extortionate tourist rate for a boat tour, just get on a normal commuter boat. The half hour journey cost me about four pounds, which is cheap for Stockholm because everything's expensive here. That's what I really like about Stockholm is there's so many different little islands all dotted about that are close together. You can get, you can escape from the city. I was in Stockholm city centre half an hour ago and here we are. It seems like we're in the middle of nowhere. It seems like a completely different region. Cheers. I think definitely one of the great joys of traveling alone. In fact, just spending time alone, not even just traveling alone, just spending the day on my own, is that I can do things like, oh look, a bunch of trees. I can stop, stop here for half an hour and just climb around and play around. If you're with someone else, then they don't necessarily always want to climb trees, especially if you're in your 20s, but I do. So they have a thing in Sweden called right to roam, which basically means there's no private property other than like houses. Anyone can go anywhere. And apparently, I don't know how, I've not read into the legalities of it, but apparently you can just camp anywhere, including people's back gardens. You can just set up camp anywhere walk anywhere you can walk through people's land and it's and it's fine because it's kind of a trust thing that everyone is just generally decent and respectful which is strange from a uk perspective but it's just kind of presumed that if you're on someone's land you're not doing anything malicious i mean i guess to a degree that kind of takes the joy out of these little adventures because the thing that i enjoyed about exploring places in the last few videos is that there was that sense of 
kind of that sense of danger and that kind of sense of forbidden fruit, like, am I allowed to be here? It's like that analogy that a child only wants a toy when he can't have it or when someone else is playing with it. It's the same kind of thing, like, I only want to go in places if it's if it's not allowed, but now I'm just allowed to walk here and and here and here and no one minds and it's like Oh, do it <laughs> Do I even want to go there? Someone is doing very well indeed. Look at the size of that mansion. I don't know where we are, but in the middle of the forest. Right to Rome. Right to Rome, mate, right to Rome. It's my new favorite law. I like having ownership over what's not mine. So how does this work? Are they above right to Rome? That's private. Right to Rome, mate, right to Rome. What's this about, your private land? Didn't want to go in anyway, looks boring. Whoa, is that a lake? Meet me by the lake around 10. If there's any kids watching this and you want a new fun game, you can try my, uh, my favorite game, which is called Lake Roulette and you get a frozen lake and you walk on it and see if you fall in. <laughs> the thing with frozen lakes is the danger is really very overrated. Oh, I can see here something's fallen in. Something a lot smaller than me has fallen in there. There you go, we're in the middle and everything's fine. Let's see if we can make it to the other side. Ooh. There you go, we crossed the lake. So if there's any young impressionable kids watching, walk on lakes, absolutely fine. Please subscribe for more amazing life advice. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. And that was a victorious round of Lake Roulette. Meet me by the lake around there. Ow. So after all that walking and uh, playing with our life in Lake Roulette, you either pass the lake or you die. That's the fun of it. That's where we got off the boat. That's the water where we got off the boat. So we've made negative progress. <laughs> but I think this path will lead us back to the main island. Let's find out in our new game, Path Roulette. This is pretty, although it's now the start of April. Looks more like autumn. Like, how is this spring? Look, there's snow, <laughs> brown leaves. This is pure ice. Like, this is not snow, this is not slush. I could just <laughs> skate my way up here. Happy Easter to me. Oh, look at that, that's nice. There's some Game of Thrones thing going on up here. Christmas trees in the wild. Merry Chrysler. I am inside a Bob Ross painting right now. Happy little trees. There's no such thing as mistakes. Just happy accidents. I think, whoa, shit. Nearly died. Can I clickbait the title now? Was OMG nearly died in Sweden? Smash the like button if you want to see me die in a vlog. Welcome to Lake Roulette, episode two. Got the moves. Ah, uh, yeah. Nobody had lake moves like this. Just gonna head back to the shore now. <laughs> We've been walking for about 11 days now. We've made it to a more populous area. What are this? Don't forget to smash the like button if you wanna see what's inside the tower. Okay, I'll start.
check Google Maps and it's an hour 15 minutes to get back to my hostel. Long walk, I didn't realise. And now it's dark and it's that way through the pitch blackness. Didn't plan this very well but got a nice sunset. So I'm gonna head back now and sleep so I can wake up for the ABBA Museum. Three, two, one. Made it to the ABBA Museum. And look who's here. Bloody hell, look who's turned Bloody up. Bloody hell, just by chance. Yeah. William's here. <laughs> you are on the same channel as the infamous Dot 2 debrief. Good. Is it gripping television? Yeah, sorry, gripping. We're just watching randoms <laughs> line up and get their picture taken in the ABBA hole. <laughs> the ABBA hole. The ABBA hole. <laughs> I peaked. You peaked in hype. This yeah. is the most hype you've ever been. Oh god, the hype. We're on one of the interactive experiences. We've got a legitimate music studio. <laughs> Abba is seeking a fifth member. This is your chance. Sing your favourite song in the Polar studio together. Chikatita, Waterloo. I like Winner Takes It All. It's a bit sad though. This is your chance to be the fifth member of Abba. Here we go. Don't mess this up. I don't, don't want to talk, talk all about about things, <laughs> and, and that's, that's what, what you've done, done too. We're well, quite good. The winner, the winner takes it all. That's my destiny. Oh, that was we're good. good. Oh, I forgot oh. where we're singing. Thinking, Thinking I, I belong there. there. Mm. Ronnie, we've, we've scored 570 out of 5,000. You joking? This is that was like 100. percent That was it. Oh no no no! Hang on, hang on. We've got more. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's game over. How did we only get 10? <laughs> percent We joking? were like note for note spot on. That was. That's actually a joke, guys. That is a joke. We did not. We did not get ten percent of that. I'm walking out. It's an outrage. I quit the band. Great, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Stockholm. Woo! Right, right. there's the queen. Yeah. Okay, Woo! Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Dig in the dancing queen. Come on, Stockholm. That place there may be the best £20 I've ever spent. Yeah, definitely. It was <laughs> yeah, I'm going back in. <laughs> this thing, right, for £20 you've got that amazing video of us performing Chicka yeah. <laughs> And hit the VT. Thank you, ABBA Museum. Thank you for the music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's good. Anyway, yeah. yeah, you should go if you come to Sweden. This is just a <laughs> magical place. This is. Dreams happen here. And dreams die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's laughs> well. well, my dream is made. I ask in all honesty, what would life be? <laughs> my mind, my mind, at Waterloo, Napoleon, Napoleon, Napoleon. 